It's 42 millimeters in titanium and black ceramic. It's got a new hand wound caliber, the 2974. Um, now, if all you complicistadors out there know that that's based on the caliber 2948. I'm sure you're already aware. As I said, it's an open work tourbillon movement. It's got white gold hour markers and hands with luminescent coating, black rubber strap with titanium folding clasp. Um, but it's all about that big Spider-Man on the dial, Peter Parker, or PP, as he's uh, lovingly referred to in the comic books. Um, and he required no less than 50 hours work of hand engraving and hand painting by eliminating as much material as possible, they have been able to achieve a level of transparency that allows Spider-Man's character to appear in a three-dimensional form as if passing through the tourbillon mechanism. Now, it looks like he's swinging through the skeletonized openworks of the tourbillon there, and that's most apparent when you turn the watch over and you can see his little feet poking through. Um, so, very heroic and iconic on the front, but on the back, a um, little pair of Spider-Man feet, which is very, very funny. Now, this to me smacks a little bit of how do you do fellow kids. I don't know if that is what you're getting. Um, Are you sure this is definitely Spider-Man? Because he looks a little bit off to me. Are you sure it's not his non-union Mexican equivalent, uh, Speedre Hombre? I'm pretty sure. I can imagine the phone call to like the Disney Marvel licensing department. Hello, this is Odomar PK. We'd like to produce a Spider-Man watch. It's your lucky day. And they were like, sorry, who are you? <laughs> it's like, oh yes, actually, no, I'd, I've got my name on a waiting list for a Royal Oak. Can I jump to the top if I say yes? You make quite fancy watches. Yeah, we'll make a ton of money selling loads of these. Actually, no, we'll only sell 250, but we will sell them for 195,000 Swiss francs. 